Okay, hi, it's Dr. Buford. We're just getting started on the left knee. We've already harvested the bone marrow and made a nice bone marrow concentrate injection. Um, and now we're looking in the medial compartment. You can see our shaver here. When I turn it on, it spins around. And that inner tube has suction attached to it. So when we turn on the suction, there's a loose piece there you can see. Hold the camera here for a minute. When we turn on the suction, it'll, it'll evacuate a lot of these really loose pieces. And so here you can see one right there. We can see you've got this kind of radial meniscal tear as I focus a little bit better. And so we're going to take a pair of scissors. That's not really a repairable tear right there. You can see you've got some thinning of the cartilage on the plateau down below, a little bit up above. You can see some of these areas here. But I think the most important thing on this medial side is that meniscal tear right there. And we're going to put in an instrument here that will help us take care of that. That's probably all we have to do. That's why I think that's a better option for you to get you back on the court and doing everything you want to do with minimal downtime here. Now we've just got our shaver going with suction again. I'm trying to focus here. There we go. You can see how now that little torn flap is gone. Okay, I think we're done on the medial side. Again, you can just see a little bit of wear and tear changes on the condyle also. But now as we look in the notch, this is the anterior cruciate ligament. It's in pretty good shape there. And now in just a minute, we're going to look over here on the lateral side. But I uh, just wanted to show you this ACL and how good that looks. Okay, here's our look inside the media. Uh, I'm sorry, the lateral compartment. Posterior horn of the lateral meniscus looks good. You've got definitely some arthritis on the tibial plateau. You can see these areas here. You had a little bit of a tear right here in the lateral meniscus. It's more of a radial tear, not a repairable tear, just something we can trim out pretty quickly just to smooth out the inner edge. And um, once we get that little part right there, we're going to look in the patellofemoral compartment next. Okay. Not too bad there. Okay, so now we're looking at the patellofemoral joint. And what we're seeing here, as we suspected, was a fair amount of wear and tear changes in the trochlea. See how this is really rough right in the middle? And so that's the, that's the area where, when you get arthritis in this area, it can hurt when you're going up and down stairs. It hurts first thing in the morning. It hurts before the knee gets warmed up. It hurts after sitting in a movie, long car rides, long dinners. All those things, and so that, that goes along with some of what you were telling us, so that's why we expected to find this. So we're going to go ahead and smooth it out as best we can. This is one of the areas where we think our injection will help, not so much to regrow, but to minimize any inflammation from this area. And so, 
the trochlea, I mean, uh, the patella actually looks pretty good. The patella up above. A little bit of soft. I don't see a real distinctive tear in the cartilage there. Can we turn suction on the shaver for me? Can you have him check that? Okay, so we're all done here. We've cleaned up the edges, made them as stable as we can without taking away any of the healthy cartilage. We're going to count on our injection to help with the rest of that. And now we're just making sure there's no more loose pieces floating around with our suction here. And that looks really good. So we're going to finish up here. We'll get you back to the recovery room shortly, okay? Good luck to you now. Bye-bye. Hold on a second.